Right now we are at the dead centre of Australia and getting here had some pretty gnarly roads that our little van dingo would not be able to handle. But we managed to get this van for only one dollar a day. But the cheap price comes with a catch. We have four days to relocate this van over 1500 kilometres and we've just spent two days taking a detour to the centre of Australia. So if we don't make it back in time and in one piece, instead of four dollars, this is going to cost us thousands. This bed is hard. Let's get some coffee. Yes. Bye. <laughs> Guys, make us coffee. Let us know when it's done. Rock, paper, scissors, shake. <laughs> <laughs> No! Because yes! I was going to go because I was like, he's going to think I go for paper, which means I'd go for scissors, which means he's going to go for scissors. I don't need, I don't I need, go for I do not need a full analysis. <laughs> it's not, it's not that complicated. Good morning, Australia! Man, it's bright. It's a very sunny day. Ow. My eyes have not adjusted. Okay guys, so um, I've managed to convince Philly that I want to have a shower. <laughs> Not because I want to have a shower. Well, I do. I forgot to have a shower in the hotel. But more because how many people can say that they stood naked at the very centre of Australia? I know, you don't have the shower at the best of times, never mind in the centre of Australia Look, in a bag. When she showed me that it came with the shower, I was like, I feel like we kind of need to do it. We're utilising everything yeah. this van has to offer. It's four by four, it's shower bag. <laughs> I'm not going to use it anywhere where there's people, but here, guys, no one's coming here. They would have had to leave at 5 a.m. to make it here, so I'm going to take advantage. Keely just wants to have a shower here because she can do it in the nude yes. and feel at one with the earth. Yes. Here you go, this is it. Um, hers. There you go, yay! <laughs> okay. Get in your shower, Keely. Don't waste it. Look, guys even provided us with towels. It's like they're literally telling me to get naked in the Australian Outback. You don't have to tell me twice. Oh, hello, are you coming too? It's cold. This is going to be the most unattractive video you watch. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. We stood naked at the centre of Australia and it felt incredible. So this is only the start of this journey, but before I get into that, we need to get this van back out onto that main road and back to Dingo which is like a three hour drive so we gotta make some tracks. Is it too early for a four wheel drive? The sooner we do it the sooner I can have breakfast. <laughs> that is true. We did it! We did it! We conquered the Outback! Woo! <laughs> oh, that's amazing, isn't that? That is great! It's really good. Guys, I just hopped out to snap a branch so that we wouldn't mark the van. And look at these footprints! That is a huge animal. Look at them. What is that? But guys, there's so many animal prints and we haven't seen any. <laughs> All right, we need to stop stopping every 100 meters because we see an animal footprint. <laughs> it's funny how confident you can get on this four wheel drive. Any of you guys from Northern Ireland, if you've ever went to Todd's Leap, they do a four wheel drive driving experience. 
that is something else. <laughs> they take it, they just turn up rivers and are just like up over everything. So that's what I have in the back of my mind when I'm driving this. <laughs> I'm like, this is capable of so much more than this. Mm -hmm. That fun? That's really, I'm dry, I'm, it's a four-wheel drive, you know, we gotta do stuff like this. <laughs> oh, this is sliding. Oh, this is where I go left. I really hope Apollo don't watch this video. I don't know if we're meant to do this in their camper vans. There you go, did you enjoy that? Yeah, that was fun. Just like that, it's over? We're not back on the main road, are we? Yeah. What? That was so quick! Okay, oh whoa, we're sliding. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's so funny, as soon as you have a fraction of confidence, you just blast it. That took like a third of the time. That's nuts. Do you know what's even more nuts, guys? Not a single wild animal. You know what's even more nuts, guys? This hat. Like there were fresh tracks over the top of our tire tracks, which means they're literally here and they're just hiding from us. Yeah, this, they, they can smell you coming. Got it. Guys, we did it, we smashed it, that was buns. That was easy. Wow. That was really good fun. So we've got an hour and a half to go on this road, so it'll probably take us about two hours because it is a, a dodgy road. Boy. There you go. Back to uh, civilization. Back on track. Ready for breakfast. <laughs> I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> that was three hours, guys. And now our next leg of this journey is a five-hour drive. Well, let's get let's get breakfast before we even think about the next part of our journey. Before we do anything, we need to check and see if Dingo's still there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That that's been on my mind. I, I see him. Yeah. He's there. He's alive. He's alive. That's good. <sighs> we made it. We're gonna have to go and get all of this clean before we hand this back over. I'm sure you guys are happy to see that we left Dingo nice and tidy, as usual. Okay guys, so for breakfast this morning, I'm having beans, obviously, with kale, tofu with kale, some olive loaf, some avocado, and uh, I'm just gonna annihilate this. And probably a massive blob of hummus. Obviously, fridge hummus. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, you're just gonna have to ignore my hat because the sun is very strong and I have to cover up. The reason that we have been able to get this van and take it to the very center of Australia for only $2 is actually because they need it relocated all the way from Alice Springs right down to Adelaide for $1 a day in four days, which means we have about 36 hours to take these two vans the rest of the 1500 kilometer journey down to Adelaide. Let's go. Oh guys. See when I can see the hat, I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it. Biggest thing you need to survive the outback, apart from numerous things like water, you need SPF lip balm. Your lips get so dry here. Yes. All right, first stop, diesel. Yes, diesel and LPG, please. Let's do it. Oof, it is hot in here. Whoa, you're already doing it. Can I see if I can get it to work by myself? You crazy mofo. Just squeeze it and hold it. Yes. Sometimes, yeah. Oh, oh, there's a little bit of an extra squeeze right at the end. All right, guys. The vans have been filled. Four hours, 12 minutes. Let's do this. I didn't have fancy Bundaberg, so I've got Ooh. you a vitamin water. A vitamin water? <laughs> How health conscious of you. I love you. Love you too. Enjoy the bag. Me too. What? You got yourself a bundy? There's only one. There's oh. only one. You don't like ginger beer? No. Shut up. AC on. Let me know when you're ready, Pimba. Almost just getting my numerous beverages in their city. So guys, this journey from Alice to Adelaide is monstrous. It's over 1500 kilometers of just highway and then we decided it would be a great idea to throw in a four-wheel drive experience on top of that. What are we doing? Is this like a one-way road? I'm confused 
Bravo on this side. Um, thanks. That's good observation. I was just keeping on your toes. <laughs> There's the sign, the border sign that we passed. Welcome to South Australia! Woo. We've got like 16 hours of driving to do in the next two days. 16! Guys, our entire time in Northern Territory, we've seen zero roadkill. We're back in SA for 10 minutes and I've already seen five dead kangaroos. All right, we're halfway there. It's just after 4 p.m. It's definitely good to our destination before it does. And that's the plan. Another two hours in. 269 kilometers done. I'm doing so good. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I'm really enjoying driving. You're Dingo. so tanned. Yeah, it's this color just really pops it, you know. And uh, yeah, that time like flew by because we put on a Casey Nightstop podcast and uh, it was good. More podcasts? Yeah. Still rocking this hat. It gives me the superpower to drive for days. And there's nobody else on the road apart from like the odd road train. Like, look at this. It's just vast nothingness. Are, are we ready to go? Back in the road? Yeah. So it's an hour and a half until we get diesel and gas refill. Mm -hmm. And then we gotta find somewhere to stay. It's super easy to know that we're coming into Cooper PD because it's just surrounded by dirt piles from all the opal mining. Guys, I am so close to running out of fuel, it's not even funny. I've just seen a sign saying Cooper PD 5k and I have 26k left in the tank. That is too close for comfort. We made it. That was a pretty brutal drive, well done. Thank you, thank you. Billy, I look about 60. Because you have to concentrate so much? I look about 60. So my van says that I'm down to 24 kilometer range. I'm running on fumes. That's nuts, why so little? I don't know. This is empty, your gas tank's empty. It's gonna be. <laughs> this trip was not $2. I know. <laughs> so you're 16, and number five and two. Definitely one downside of having two vans is that you've got two fuel bills to pay. I think I look forward to getting one van again. But for now, we've got a rest spot just down the road like five minutes, so we're gonna go to that. And get an early night because this has been very tiring. Goodbye, Cooper Petey, you have been wonderful. Guys, we made it to our park up. We made it, we, we completely crushed that journey. We're making such good progress and we made it here just in time for what looks like is going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal, a phenomenal, a phenomenal, a ph I can't even say it. I need to know guys, how many of you out there take about 50 billion times to choose where you want to park? Keely, it was literally 45 seconds. Yeah, but it was like, I just need to know if this is a thing. You need the perfect park up. But the thing is, you don't think about, okay, if somebody's gonna come off the road to break into my van, then where is the best spot that I can okay. be for? Blah, blah. The point is- No, I mean, you don't think about that. <laughs> I want- You don't think about that. Everybody... You don't think about, okay, where, when, where no, can I make the cleanest even getaway? When we go, even when we go to a shop, a Coles, you will drive around looking for the park. I need to know, out there, everybody now watching this. That's because this. You, no, have, you have to think about care. the person who's parked I next to you. Oh my I just need to know that other people do this. Vote now. Are you a first time and that's where you park your committed? Or do you like need to really make sure you've got the perfect park? I need to understand if perfect this park, is... Perfect park, man. I need Always to... a perfect park. You're so annoying. But you know, this this tells a lot about your personalities. You know, you're just like guns blazing. I'm, you're all, I'm all in, go. I'm all in. You're exactly no thought. Well, I need to know if other people have no thought and if you're the weirdo or if I'm the weirdo. That's what I'm saying. For example, I asked you to turn the van so the door was pointed this way. Me? You told me to drive in there. Excuse me, exactly I meant, like, I, I, you were here. I meant you were free to turn and drive in here that no, way. You were I meant so that you, I, I meant no. I meant for you to drive in here, so that our doors were beside each other. No, because you always said drive in and reverse, and so drive means I'm putting my nose in. So yeah. You drive in yeah, and then I meant for you to drive in and drive up around that side. Yeah, 
so that was a miscommunication on your part. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and turn your van. I'm not turning it. What do you mean? I'm making food. You can turn it. All right, guys. We are having curry leftovers with a twist tonight. We're putting them in wraps with hummus. Surprise, surprise. Leftover curry wraps. The Outback favorite. Guys, I know um, you haven't seen the inside, how it pops up, so come with me. It's the easiest thing ever. And yes, we're sleeping in this van tonight because it's just more spacious, so we're just gonna make use of it as we can. <laughs> that looks easy. So anyway, we've only got one minute left on our memory card, so I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. One last thing, look how cool it is. We can see the sunset from our prison window. Good morning guys. We are already up. We've had our breakfast. Keely's just finishing off doing some work and then we gotta go. Guys, the biggest downfall of this van is this door. It doesn't have anywhere to hook onto, so it just flows in the wind and creaks a lot. I feel, no, I am literally, literally living in a horror movie. Stop it. I'm literally living in a horror movie. I'm very close to snapping that door off. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going crazy. This is like torture. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> I made a very, very basic pasta and sweet corn to pesto. <laughs> pesto, pasta, sweet corn. That's for the road. I have to do these dishes now, and Keely's finishing doing some work. Uh -huh. Hey. Okay, bye. Shut the really annoying door. <laughs> okay. I might as well give you a little tour of this thing. So this is our first time actually using the pop top and I 100% recommend. It's really cool just to give you that extra space. This is the outdoor kitchen. I only realized this morning that there's lights on this. You've got your fridge and then all of your kitchen stuff and storage. Uh, my only downfall is that there's no pull out table here to cook on, like that would be really good. You've got some other storage down here, spare diesel tanks, which is good more storage here and then these are all just storage as well let me see i'll show you and then you can lock them which is good too charging ports that's another storage thing and in here is the electric setup this is the water tank and then this is the AGM battery it's a 100 amp hour AGM battery and then i think there's like an inverter and a solar controller maybe up there i can't really see oh yeah and you can have a shower outside and that feeds from the the water tank from in there cool man and thus concludes the two minute tour. It's like 11 o'clock now. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think we had like numerous hours of driving ahead of us. Let's go. Yeah. Time to start the next leg of this exceptionally long journey. We're a few hours behind today which means we got a lot of ground to cover and I've only had one coffee today. All right guys, so we're 355 k's to go. And it's funny when I look at the sat nav, you can see that it's just 355 k on a straight road, no turn off whatsoever. Guys, I just spent the last five minutes tooting up Philly. He couldn't hear me cause we're on the highway. He'd been driving with the roof up for all we know, that's gonna rip off. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Guys, that could have been a bloody disaster. That could have been. That could have been bad. That's all we need, guys, ripping off the roof. Definitely not get our money back. All right, guys, we had a, a little mishap. What actually happened was I popped the roof down and as I came out, Keely had washed her shorts and was looking at me to bring them out because I'm stronger than her. And I totally forgot to clip it down. Back on the long, straight, laborious roads. So the speed limit out here is 110 kilometers per hour. It just feels so slow when you're on this straight road with like no end in sight. And anybody that does come up behind us just overtakes us at like 140, 150. Like this guy. this one and also this guy but we're gonna stay at the speed limit because I'm sure there's a tracker on this vehicle and it'll tell me if 
I break the speed limit. It's working. Why couldn't it all be like this? Seriously. All right, guys, we have made it to Spud's Roadhouse. We've filled up both of the vans, and now we're going to get some food. That was a tough stint, I thought. I'm so tired and hungry, man. It was three and a half hours, but it felt like about six. When we were coming in there, it was like 28 minutes. I looked at it again, 25 minutes. I looked at it again, 22. <laughs> now, like those three minute intervals, I kept being like, I'm bound to be nearly there. I was like, three minutes, three, oh my goodness. I feel like I'm purgatory. And we have at least that again to go. I don't know if that's gonna bring us close enough to Adelaide, so we might have to push it further. All right, guys, we've got these coffees. And then we've got some pasta. We're just going to put that in the pasta and that'll hopefully do it. Nom nom nom. Of course with the blob of hummus. Obviously. Simba, do you read me? I read you Simba, loud and clear. guys 75 kilometers to go and then we can park up for tonight we're absolutely smashing this so this means that we have a three-hour drive to where we have to drop this van off tomorrow so it's going to be an early start we might actually have to get up for sunrise Not sure if you can tell guys, but it's pretty dark. That was a colossal day of driving. As you can see, we drove into the dark, which probably wasn't a smart idea, but thankfully we didn't hit any kangaroos. Keely almost hit one, but we got here, we're safe and sound. We're still two hours and 55 minutes away from Adelaide. We have to return this thing at 10 a.m. in the morning, which means we're gonna have to get a really early start. It's 10 p.m. We're gonna go Sugar, to. That's so, that's so late. Isn't it? That means the sun goes down really late. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you in the morning. We're gonna go to sleep. Love you. See you bright and early. Up at, up at sunrise? <laughs> Maybe just after sunrise. Okay. Good night, guys. No, 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 no. I'm not decent. <laughs> I'm not decent. We gotta get up. I don't wanna. I don't wanna play. I don't think I slept well. I'm very tired. I'm tired too. I'm very tired. Did you hear the cuckoo birds all night? No. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee? Please, please. Oh. <laughs> yes! Bravo. Hello world! It's currently half six. We have to hit the road pretty soon. But we'll have to get coffee first and we're gonna empty the contents of this van into this van so we don't have to do it at the end. But we've got a three hour journey ahead of us and not a lot of time to do it. Look at this park up though. This is beautiful. I'm cold. I'm not cold but... Bit nippy. I know, right? Bit of a chill. I've been waiting for this moment for weeks. Not sure how I feel about it now I'm here. <laughs> I'm so tired. Guys, if you don't know, I've been stuck in 
plus 40 degree heat for the past three weeks, so this feels like bliss. I think that they know. Where's the keys? That's, that's my testicles. <laughs> so I just read the top. I thought you had keys in your pocket. Yeah, Are there keys in your pocket? You just haven't seen me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave you guys here because we have a lot of stuff to do to organise these vans. Uh, Are we ready to go? I know. Do this. Leave no trace. Do you need your plasters? We have to drop this thing off in three hours, ten minutes, and this journey it's two hours, 57 minutes. So we have 13 minutes and I need to stop and fill this with diesel because I have to leave it back full. So we have very little time. <laughs> I know I said we have no time to spare, but we've always got time to stop for a coffee. We were driving through this little town and there's just a little quaint bakery. So it'd be rude not to. Plus this gives us fuel for the road. Now we've really got no time. Cup holder. Cup holder here. Let's do it! Alright guys, this is it. It's an emotional moment. It's our last diesel fill of the trip. We're just around the corner from the place that we have to pick this up. And we've made astounding time. Philly, we're here. Here we are. I need to tell you how proud I am of Keely. Keely, we've done about over 20 hours of driving, it feels like, mm -hmm. in the last three days. Yeah. I drove Dingo through the Australian outback and now in the city. You absolutely smashed it. Diesel! Ah. Alright team, this is it. It's been an emotional journey. It honestly feels like we've had this for about a month, even though it's only been four days. But let's go return it. Let's go! Yeah, can you, I, I can't believe we've actually managed to get this thing back. Do you ever have any doubts? I don't have doubts in us, I have doubts in the universe. <laughs> now we just gotta hope that it only costs us $4. Time will tell, let's find out. Okay guys, so we've managed to get it here in time, but let's be honest, we all know what rental companies are like. They try to charge you for ridiculous stuff. So I'm intrigued to see how this goes and uh, fingers crossed, at the end of today, only $4 minus all the diesel money is out of our account. Now um, you guys were uh, in the four-wheel drive, weren't you? Yeah. Um, what I've got to do, I've got to come outside, have a quick little check, make sure there's no damages or anything like that. Okay. Um, so I'll do that. It's been a surprise anyone was even open up at uh, Alice Springs at this time of year. Yeah, no, it was a miracle. I don't think we even opened the other side. Yeah. I wonder if they do like diagnostics or something on the system. Real customers that are paying full price at the moment for that type of vehicle can, can be up to about 400 bucks a day. Um, I've also just refunded 71 bucks because you had a deposit that you would have paid a, you probably paid $75 yeah. and you're only using $1 a day. So yeah. amazing, 71 bucks, it's all done. Thank you, Anne. Thank you so much. Just gonna have to slide that seat right back. Yeah, does it go back any farther? <laughs> Look at the cut of this place. Do you have clean up after yourself? Look at the state of this. Is there a slob driving this van? What the hell? There was a slob indeed. Flip in heck. There's a pair of dirty pants sitting in the footwell. They're not dirty, they're they're clean. Oh dear, flip in heck. Shout out to James who checked the van. Lovely guy. Mm-hmm. And we got a map for Air Peninsula, which is where we're gonna be going next so you're gonna have to come back next week to see us chilling on a beach because we definitely just need some major recovery time <laughs> yeah this has been super intense <laughs> but also super fun are you guys as surprised as we are that that all went smoothly like we got it to the outback nothing wrong happened mm -hmm. we got it back we got both of these vans like guys this is not like us yeah it's not this almost went too smooth where it's like i feel a bit confused <laughs> thanks so much for coming on this adventure mm -hmm. And we're still alive. I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful for you. You absolutely smashed that for not having driven really that much in the past like decade. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm buzzing. Let's go take them to the beach. Let's go chill. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Love you. Bye. Go, go, go. Beach, here we come. To the beach.